All right, guys, so we have an update for the global database. I apologize. I was actually going to do this around like nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, so that way I can get it up to you by 11 a.m. But I had some stuff to do for work. So it is currently 11 a.m. that I'm recording this. And this will probably be up by like 12, 1230 for you. It's nothing really too major. There's nothing major going on. Uh, there's a couple new things that have gotten added to the global side of Dokkan Battle. Um, really quick JP side, I just want to let you know, I'm pretty sure I saw a note stating that the agility banner is currently up, so you can go on the JP side if you want to go ahead and do that. But uh, now let's go ahead and just jump into the global. First off, shout out to the Reddit, so um, go over there, check them out. The Dokkan Battle Reddit is probably the best place source of information. Uh, dbz.space for all the latest releases and card information, including team building at dokkanbattlebuilder.com. Um, and also the Dokkan Battle Wiki, where I will be going for some more information as well. Uh, this video today, as you can see on my screen here, or on your screen here, uh, we have all the new releases of the Tech Candy Vegito, LR Black, the Baba Shop Dokkan Awakenings for all of the uh, units over here, the, uh, the Master Roshi, Krillin, Deborah, Nappa, and Great Saiyan Man. Super happy about that. Uh, the Boss Rush Event 3 is now out. Stay tuned, because I will be doing a video on that, so either later on today or for tomorrow new items we have the new ghost metal the ghost usher metal the devora cookie which is actually pretty damn cool i did check it out it's uh, pretty damn interesting um to say the least um uh, mechanic behind it and new missions for the event called majin boo's candy mischief it's all for halloween guys so uh that's pretty cool anyway so let's go ahead and talk about it new these are all coming out by the way well at least the new cards are coming out on 10 31. uh one thing that i did want to note that uh, as a hall had noted here LR Black does not have any new rebirths releasing with him. Now, this is indicative of possibly having LR Goku Black as a featured unit. So, um, yeah, get hyped. <laughs> if he is going to be an LR, like featured LR for the tech, bro. Like for real, I don't know. I don't know if my wallet can handle that. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's go ahead and talk about it. First off, let's talk about the items, just because I want to get them out of the way. Uh, the Debora cookie randomly changes key spheres from fi to uh, physical spheres. So randomly changes any kind of key sphere to physical. So uh, that's interesting. I like that. That's not. That did also is what makes it really cool. Is attack plus five percent per key orb obtained for one turn. Now that that raises some questions. Like, does that mean? any character that gets the physical key how is that going to play with lr gohan doesn't the weirus change two types to physical as well if we get the weirus and you have the deborah cookie with lr gohan do you know how hard lr gohan's going to hit <laughs> and then take into consideration a freaking nuking lead oh my god well maybe 120 lead i don't i don't know the math behind um a nuking leader and a 120 leader between the two of them because the nuking lead would indicate um a percent increase per key orb obtained but <clears throat> yeah whatever it's all multiplication i don't know i, I didn't do it i'm pretty sure the uh, nuking lead might do more damage than a 120 liter but we can check that out in a future video because i have lr on <laughs> uh, next one is going to be the ghost usher metal which is required to Dokken awaken the napa the master roshi the krillin the deborah and the uh, grill uh, the agility great say man now cool things kudos because i love this i have each of these and i have like I, I, I caught um, two Master Roshis on sale, so I have bottom right, top left, and I have him Super Attack 10. All these are semi-farmable, by the way. You can go ahead and get the SR variants pulled and then feed them in. Um, I'm not going to Dokken Wake in mine until they're all at Super Attack 10. My personal preference on it, I have all the 70% leads, and most of them, they, every single one of them actually all have all four dupe pads unlocked, and most of them are 100%ed. Uh, I just didn't do the Broly because the Broly isn't worth it, in my opinion. You get him 100%. I just gave him mass crits, and I gave him um, mass, all, all the additional attacks that he can get. Anything that he can get from the dupes some buffs like that I gave him. Anyway, um, so yeah, these are the Ghost Usher Medals, and you're going to have to get these in order to Doken Awaken them. Uh, we also have, well, let's see over here, um, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, how the hell do you attain these? I forgot how you attain these. I'll have to go over that in a different video. Um, but yeah, so that, this is the Ghost Usher Medals that you're going to require. Uh, next, we're going to go over and jump into the mission rewards for the Boo event that's going to encompass this Deborah cookie. So the, the Masha Boo event, you're going to have to clear it up to 50 times. Now, the notable rewards from the missions are going to be every 10 times you get a Dragonstone. So 10, 20, 30, 40, uh, well, 10, 20, 30, 40 is going to be a Dragonstone. So you're going to get four total Dragonstones for mission rewards. Uh, the 50 times you get um, um, a freaking Elder Kai, which some of you may like, some of you may not like. Uh, whatever you get a platinum hercule statue for 1.5 million zenny um, at 33 times which is cool and then you also get some 
Koop Boo candy, which you're going to be able to probably get anyway um, from other uh, other events and other objectives. Anyway, really cool. So we have this to grind out. It's going to give a little bit of a grind fest over here, but you know what? Who cares? It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and talk about the new candy, which actually, you know, this is just the card art of that candy. So uh, that's pretty freaking awesome. But we're going to go ahead and jump from dbt.space over to the wiki world strongest candy vegito leader ability is attack and defense plus seven percent per key orb obtained so they did this with the freaking candy guys um i'm pretty sure i don't know did they do this on the well let's see over here uh yeah no we didn't do this at all yet so this is gonna be yeah, okay uh supreme damage to enemy rare chance to stun pass the skill turning back the tides high chance to evade the enemy's attack including super attacks disables guard and recovers HP with candy. What the hell? <laughs> this is freaking insane. How that this 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 card, this freaking candy, is actually gonna be a good freaking unit. Like he's not gonna be amazing, but he's going to be able to. Just his dodge alone makes him good for defending. He's gonna be good, obviously, against the Majin Buu events. Um, and he disables enemy's guard, which essentially means it doesn't mean he has type advantage when he goes up against the enemies. All that means is that he will be able to. Um, attack the enemy without a guard. So he still gets debuffed if he goes up against attribute disadvantage. He just doesn't have the damage reduction of having that guard activated. Um, link skills are more than meets the eye, shocking speed over in a flash, power bestowed by God, and fighter and supreme power. Um, oh, that's cool. They actually now they hover over for what the actual links do. That's freaking cool. Um, so shocking speed over in a flash, really good. Power bestowed by God is met, but you could definitely utilize it. In fighter, not so much. Supreme power, I mean, attacking it's only a flat out boost, but whatever. What can you do? Uh, oh, honestly, he's not a bad unit. He's not a great unit, but for a mono tech team, I mean, Vegito Candy, he's going to link well with Vegito. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, it's not like it's going to matter too much unless you don't have other good characters, but yeah, that's awesome. Max stats kind of suck, though. HP of 52.23, attack of 74.04, and defense of 45.11. 12 key multiplier, though, of 145%. What's up, man? That's insane. Let's see, can we get max stats on that? Oh, uh, orbs, orb system. Wow, okay, with orb system, look at that. Uh, with orb system, he becomes a normal character. Ah, <laughs> uh, shoot. All right, cool. So, uh, yeah, that's awesome, guys. That's, uh, that's a freaking pretty cool unit. I like what they're doing for the Halloween special over here. Um, so this is the LR Goku Black, by the way. For those of you who don't know, I don't think there's a lot of you who don't know about him. But he is going to be the LR Tech Leader, 90% Tech Leader. Uh, so if you all know, I haven't had any luck pulling the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. I've been doing one so uh, YOLO summon every single day, uh, just so that I can see if I can get him. And I got my I finally got myself a duplicate of the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, the one who defends, the one the blocker. Finally, something on the banner I wanted to dupe up, but um, it's not even like I'm, he's going to be too viable. I'm probably going to go ahead and feed that in the bottom right path, and uh, at some point. So I could start feeding into him, but I don't think I'm going to use it for the uh, strength, uh, the strength orbs on him. I'll probably wait for something else like Janemba. Anyway, I'm um, rambling off to off topic here. Leader ability for this guy is key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 50% when it's for tech. Supreme damage, uh, recover 7% HP, attack plus 20% with each attack received up to 80%, which is meh. It's okay. I guess that's cool. Uh, he's going to be more of a defender. He's, he should be more of a defender. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and take a look. Hidoken Awakens with 77 Goku Black Medals. Into Distorted Gust, uh, Justice, Goku Black and Zamasu. By the way, the base form of that Goku Black is formable from the Goku Black event. First start level, first stage is where you're going to want to go ahead and grind that out. So go ahead, take advantage of that if you were happy to pull him. Hidoken Awakens into this awesome freaking form. I love this one. Um, I personally like this one better than the LR version. I, but, you know, you need to have him go Super Saiyan. But uh, I love this version the best. And then... Um, the other thing is they all link very well together just because all their names change, so it's kind of like the Broly. How you have the have Broly, then you have Super Saiyan Broly, then Legendary Super Saiyan Broly, the same thing here applies here. So if you get, like, say you get two of them, if you get super lucky, don't feed the dupe system in. Get Distorted Justice, Goku, Black, and Merge, Zamasu, and then also get the LR because they, they link very, very well. Um, and this one is really isn't that bad. Recovers 10% at the start of the turn, attack plus 25% with each attack up to 100%. So with Supreme Damage... Um, he has to, well, yeah, yeah, he'll have supreme damage modifier with 100% attack on him, so he won't be bad once he gets attacked uh, four times. Uh, plus the 10% regeneration, and then he Doken Awakens with all those freaking pain the butt metals to go ahead and grind out. But once he Doken Awakens, uh, he is a 90% leader, Mega Call Colossal Damage, and raises defense by 30% for three turns. Um, Mega Colossal Damage raises 30% for six turns. 
that's cool. 15% HP regeneration at the start of the turn. Attack plus 30% with each attack up to 120%. So he's going to hit really freaking hard. And his link skills are Fear and Faith and Nightmare. Prepare for battle. Dismal future. Big bad bosses. Fierce battle. And legendary power. He's part of the Godly Dimension category. So when that comes out in the future, he'll be able to be utilized there. And max stats of HP of 14,138. Attack of 17,145. And defense of 9125. Uh, pretty awesome card. I like it. I do, don't get me wrong. I like the, the artwork on this. It's a freaking very badass artwork. I really just prefer this artwork over it. The uh, Goku Black artwork. Because it's just... I don't know. It's more sinister in my opinion than uh, these two. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd probably still crap myself regardless if I saw either of them coming at me. Or whatever version. But still. Anyway, uh, overall, really cool. Really awesome. Hopefully, he will be featured on his own banner. Guys, if he's featured, I'm going to say right now... I don't see him being fe featured again in the future, so or at least for the foreseeable future. So go ahead and utilize that while you can. I know you all are probably saving up for the the uh, Goku, uh, the Gogeta Intelligence Gogeta and Janemba, which I mean, some of you have been saying he's going to be around the corner. That they're not going to wait until the holidays to release the Janemba and Goku Gogeta event. I don't know. I I personally think they're going to do Super Saiyan three Gotenks, and then they're going to do Super Saiyan three Broly, and then they're going to release it for like December for Dual Dokkan Fest. That's just how I feel about it, but who knows? They could just follow suit with the JP side for the most part and release Gogeta now and then do the Gotenks and the um, Super Saiyan 3 Broly afterwards. But, you know, that's just my speculation on it. I think they're going to release it later. We'll find out soon, though, you know. They each is on where we'll see what happens. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Um, all right, cool. Now let's go ahead and talk about these guys. Um, I'm not going to go too much into it, I'm just going to start off with the Master Roshi. So essentially each of these has their own attribute type. Master Roshi is strength and each one has their own different attribute advantage. Um, and each of them is a, a semi-leader until they Dokken Awaken. So he doesn't give any key, but he's strength type, HP attack and defense plus 60%. And actually Master Roshi is the most viable out of all of them just because he has over and a flash Kamehameha, uh, which are two actual viable link skills. Everyone else doesn't really have anything too viable on there. Um, but yeah. So let's go ahead and talk about it. He Doken Awakens now with these uh, Ghost Medals. Actually, let's go ahead and take a look over here and see where the Ghost Usher Medals. They sh it should say over here where it's going to be obtainable from if it wants to load. Sometimes my internet connection sucks and I got Fios, so I don't understand it. Uh, well, so it looks like it's going to be available from the Baba Shop for... Oh, wow, look at that. It's... Oh, shoot. That stinks. Uh, what am I doing here? Go back. It looks like it's going to be available for one... Well, one million Zenny was it on it was on the uh jp side so who knows it might be the same amount here on the global side damn that kind of sucks uh anyway <laughs> so you require seven of them so that's gonna be seven million zenny to doken awaken him uh which is gonna be meh okay that's cool then he doken awakens into an actual 70 percent lead so master roshi actually has a good freaking lead for a 70 percent leader um because he is obviously the key plus strength type key plus three hp attack and defense plus 70 percent supreme damage Strength type, he gives key plus two right off the bat, and he has a great chance of attacking and defense plus 30%. He's a really good support unit. These guys are all good leaders, and they're all good support. So, the way I see it, the way that Bandai had created these Doken Awakenings, and if you saw my last video on the JP, not my last video, but a video a while back when this actually released on the JP side, uh, as essentially... You want these guys as leaders, they're not going to be your primary hitter, so if you lack a lead but you have other good hard-hitting units, you're going to choose these as your leaders, you're going to keep them off of rotation because they're going to be used, utilized more for their passive skills. Yes, he does supreme damage, he has over and a flash, infighter, kamehameha, supreme warrior, world tournament champion, turtle school, and shattering the limit, but overall his link skills are kind of, you know, they're, they're other than over and a flash, uh, they're kind of B rank, because kamehameha is still only a flat out boost, so you're not going to get too much extra damage out of that. So he's not going to be doing too much, and then that goes for the rest of them as well. Uh, the max stats HP 90, 21, attack of 85, 36, and defense of 30, 39, 79. So, and he only has 140% 12 key multiplier. So, for those of you who are new to the game or free to play, free to play players, you're all set. You have nothing to do. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting for J Phantom to go over here and check this all out. And he, because I know he already got all his guys set up. Uh, free to play player, go ahead and check out his channel. Um, so J Fan that got is a fully free to play player, and having cards like this, you guys, you don't need to worry about getting all the freaking new, uh, new shiny cards. I mean, I do. That's just me. <laughs> and if that featured, if that uh, merged monsters a featured LR, oh man, I don't know. But uh, anyway, so yeah, let's go ahead and go over the rest of these guys. So Master Roshi's gonna be 70% lead for the strength type. Uh, it's Krillin over here, reliable helper Krillin. He Doken Awakens with seven of the medals as well into this back on the front line Krillin. 
Uh, he is the tech type key lead or the tech type lead. Key plus street HP attack and defense plus 70%. Supreme damage. Same thing as a passive. So essentially, also, I'm going to stop going over the leaders, the supers, and the passives because pet, the, they are all the same, but for just their attribute type. So, like, he is the tech type leader. He has supreme damage and he does tech type key plus two. Great chance of attack and defense plus 30%. Link skills is where everything changes. So, Link skills, best buddies, courage, experienced fighters, turtle school, rival duo, Z fighter, shattering the limit. They all get shattering the limit now. Max stats 88, 37 HP. 76, 91 attack, and 51, 28 defense with a 135 key multiplier, which the, the, the actual multipliers are different between them because the Master Roshi is 140%. Um, so whatever, you know, that's we'll talk about that too, I guess. Uh, the next one is going to be Demon King of Pressure and Zabura. Seven medals required Doken Wake and him as well. I really like Zabura, so um, I might actually focus on him uh, to actually make him more viable. Plus for, I mean, excuse me, I don't need him for an extreme team because I have a really optimal uh, Intelligence Extreme Team, but, you know, I may, I may. Um, strike from High on High, Deborah, Intelligence Leader, su um, Supreme, uh, same passive skill, Link Skills, our Brutal Beatdown, Loyalty, Master of Magic, Majin Resurrection Plan, Nightmare, Fear, and Faith, and Shattering Limit. So, honestly, these three are really good Link Skills. Nightmare, Fear, and Faith, and Shattering the Limit. So, it's especially these two for a Mono Extreme Team. Fear and Faith for Key plus 2 and Nightmare for Attack plus 10%. That's a pretty much standard for a uh, Extreme Units. Uh, and it's it's just good because it's key and attack. His max stats are also really decent as well. HP of 10, 0, 32, attack of 75, 44, and defense of 4, 7, 15. Uh, not the best stats, but for free to play, he has good stats. And a 12 key multiplier of 140%. So that's pretty freaking badass. Uh, oh, look at that. It is also, he at Super Attack 10, Deborah will launch Super Attacks before 12 key. So that means that I missed something on here. Super Attack 10, Krillin will launch Super Attacks before 12 key, so I'm assuming that's 9 or more. And Master Roshi gets an additional 30% attack buff during a Super Attack. So Master Roshi will be doing a little bit better, and then I guess these, the Krillin and the Deborah will be a little bit nicer because I get, I'm pretty sure it's 9 key or more for their Super Attacks. Uh, next one we're going to talk about is the Nappa, Violent Blast Nappa, Doken Awaken, 7 medals as well. Go ahead, Doken Awaken him into Diabolical Strike Nappa. Uh, link skills are Sane Warrior Race, Brutal Beatdown, Tough as Nails, Berserker, Over 9000, Shocking Speed, and Shattering the Limit. So he has Berserker, which is cool for Broly, uh, and possibly Sane Warrior Race. Outside of that, maybe Brutal Beatdown, depending on who you have on your team, and Shocking Speed's good. Um, so he has some moderate link skills, nothing too crazy. Berserker kind of sucks, though. Um, I, I know I said this in another video, and I actually just ended after I said it on a video, I noticed that it was posted either on Facebook or the Reddit. Someone had made the same thing, the same comment about it. Berserker needs a buff. You either need to take that to HP's like 80% or below or something like that, or give something worth that buff if you're going to keep it 50% or below. If you're going to say at 50% or below, then you need to give us like attack plus 50% or something like that to make it worth worth the freaking risk of dying. But uh, anyway, uh, that's just I'm, I'm a little bit angry about that. Max stats are 96, 64, uh, attack of 75, 80, and defense of 48, 52, with a 12 key multiplier of 140%. Super Attack 10, Nappa gets an additional 30% attack buff during a Super Attack. Awesome. So uh, go ahead, grab him if you don't have a Broly leader. Iron Fist Justice, Great Saiyan Man, the, into the Agility lead now, which I'm actually happy about him as well. I really like him as a, as a unit. Uh, he Doken Awakens 7 Metals. He Doken Awakens into Passion for Peace, Great Saiyan Man. Uh, Link skills are Shocking Speed, which is really good on a, on an Agility team. Z Fighters, Patrol, Hero Justice, Signature Pose, Brainiacs, and Chattering Limit. All these others kind of suck. <laughs> he just has Shocking Speed and Chattering Limit, the only two things that you can possibly utilize that would be decent. Um, but yeah, max stats are HP of 9113, attack of 8279, and defense of 4255. 135 uh, 12 key multiplier and super attack 10, he gets an additional 30% attack on his super attack. So, overall guys, you have all the new leaders out. If you don't have them, go ahead and snag them from the Baba Shop. I always recommend doing it either when they're on sale, like now Baba Shop has a 30% sales, or waiting waiting for them to be on half off half off doesn't happen often for them but if you see them half off i highly recommend buying them at that point if you want them if you don't have a leader um, or if you're just a collector like i am i'll still buy them at half off but only if i know i have enough baba points but anyway guys that is my long-winded video on the new global update uh thank you for joining me here today i know it's been a little bit uh i don't i i, I try to stay keep my videos under 13 minutes when it comes to news but just going over all these uh, damn new cards, are uh, it, it took a little bit of time. But I'm really happy about this Vegeta. I can't wait to utilize him and just throw him on a team for fun. And I really hope that that uh, Goku Black is going to be a uh, featured unit. 
But anyway, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you are new. I'll catch you all later.